based on a true story, 100 Meters is a harrowing, emotional tour de force of a tale. But is it a 100 meter walk, or a 100 meter fumble? Now I like world cinema. In fact, no, I love world cinema. Anything to break from the tedium that is Hollywood. But Portuguese cinema is somewhat alien to me. In fact, this was my first ever Portuguese movie. So, I guess, no matter what I thought of it, it was going to come out the other end as my favourite Portuguese movie. It tells the story of a Spanish man diagnosed with multiple cirrhosis. He decided to defy the odds and participate in an Ironman competition, despite being told that he would likely never make it 100 metres. Now, immediately you'd think a person with multiple cirrhosis wouldn't be able to do such a thing. As did I. You may go as far as to say it would be foolhardy for him to even try, like a one-legged man intent on dominating the competitive field of ass-kicking tournaments. Well, I said this was based on a true story, so you can probably work out how it ends. If he had tried, gone splat, and internationally embarrassed himself, it would likely not have made for the best story and therefore not become a film. So sure, this is predictable, but it is in the good way. Like, you want to see the ending because it's just logical writing. The cast is solid, the writing is competent, and though I didn't exactly ball, the movie did manage to make me well up and got the emotional reaction I'm sure it was seeking. If you're seeking a realistic, heartwarming tale, you can do a lot worse. I award 100 meters, 8 out of 10. So rant time, potential spoilers. I said this made me well up, and it's true, but that's not saying much. I've welled up to everything from Crash from 2004, two different scenes in that in fact, and um, Decoys, also 2004, and that was a combination of American Pie and Species. Making me actually cry is a feat only managed by four films at time of speaking. And I'm embarrassingly going to tell you what those films are. The first would be The Bucket List, 2007. That final speech that Nicholson gave just destroyed me. The second would be Jack and Sarah from 1995, when he finally opens up and breaks down over the death of his wife. Yep, I bawled. Now it gets a bit weirder. Third would be 2009's Disney Pixar Ujima Flip film, Up. I mean, come on, those opening ten minutes are horrific. By far one of the most beautiful and compact love stories ever. If that doesn't hit you in the feels, you're Richard Branson level heartless. And finally, arguably the most bizarre of them, Click from 2006. Yep, the Adam Sandler movie. Don't judge me. That final scene in the rain where he says goodbye to everyone? Fuck my life, I don't give two shits what people think. That shoved taps in my damn eye sockets. I remember watching that in the cinema, it absolutely broke me. So... What did you think of 100 Meters? Did you find it as incredible as me? Both the movie and the real life feat? What about movies that made you cry? Tell me in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Later, folks.